Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Raptor News, and what we're looking at here, folks, is the end of the world, and we can see it from the map, and we're going to see it from the biblical perspective, and we're going to see it from a common sense perspective, if you have that. And so, we're looking at Adana, which is on the top of the map, right in the mid, and then it's a red a bubble with a dot and, and an X. And that's Idlib. That is where they are all at. Idlib, you know. And United Snakes is saying that they are going to strike right there. And they fear that they're going to hit Russia. It's problematic, you know. And Russia is already striking right there. And the false Israel is already striking, you know. And if you look next to that, you can see Syria to the right and Lebanon. And they're already bombing in Damascus. Well, right between Damascus and where you see Nazareth at is Armageddon, Megiddo. And then to the left is the Mediterranean Sea. And then there is uh, the Sea of Galilee to the right of it that's not in focus, but it's, it's already right there. And the word says how close we are to the end. And this is how close we are. Don't you know bombs can go from Damascus and Idlib right there to and the world can start right now I mean they right there tensions is high everybody is threatening each other so I put a video together a couple of days ago about every nation warning every nation you know and people didn't get the video I didn't have to say anything in that video because they are warning each other to say hey if you cross this line uh, it may be some nuclear war going on I mean it's gonna get bad and so if you look to the right of the first map and see the second map you see Idlib, Lebanon, and you see Megiddo right there by Nazareth and the West Bank. So it's so close to Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Jerusalem. It's all in that area, man, right there where Jesus was supposed to be born in Nazareth, right? And so we're going to look at Revelation 16, 13, and... Uh, it states and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out the mouth of the dragon which is the devil and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet for they are spirits of the devil working miracles which go unto the kings of the earth with all these presidents and kings and of the whole world so these spirits is going on to the whole world why everybody is finna fight against his brother everybody is Every nation is going to fight against every nation. So those spirits is going out. And we're seeing it. So every once in a while somebody is going to attack and go crazy. And they are. Because the spirit is inciting them. It's like they're testing it out. The spirits. They're testing individuals out here and there. And they, they lose their mind and go berserk and start shooting up. Like somebody just walked into the bank and just start shooting somebody. And watch. You're going to see family members go against family members. The woman, the police woman, just walked into a house that wasn't her and wasn't hers, and blew the black man away. You know, it, it, it's been started. You know, and and you call it race baiting and all that kind of stuff. No, it's the end. These are uh, demons that's in these people that's going out and inciting these people to murder, and that's what's going to happen. Everybody is going to murder. And someone said in the end time, in his dream, that. Uh, It'll be people walking around and stuff like that. And basically, he, he said he could tell that a demonic spirit went in there, the person, and they wasn't the same. And he said the only rationalization of the person is, is to kill for survival. That's the only thing that, that the devil makes them think, or the demons when they, when they entered into the human, is to kill for survival. Survival of the fittest. Everybody has to die except me is the thought pattern inside of their heads. So we're going to continue with Revelation 16, 13. And it says, To gather them, it, the demons is going on to the whole world, to gather them together for the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. And so we're right there. So if you're looking at the map, you see how close we are. And you see all the tensions rising. You see all the nations warning and threatening each other. We have never seen that. You see, you see the White House in disarray. You see it all going down. Don't pretend like you don't see it. And try to continue on with this pathetic life. 
Blessed is he that watches. So we see it. I'm, I'm showing you. I'm watching. You know. And keepeth his garments. And that, that means you stand on a straight path. Let's see walk naked and they see his shame. That means you get humiliated because you're exposed. And he gathered them together into a place in Hebrew tongue called Armageddon. Megiddo. Right? And that's where they are. Right between Nazareth and, and, and Lebanon and Israel. It's right up in there. You know, in Idlib, that's where that's where they at. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And these are the things that's happening and getting ready to happen. I mean, it's going to go down quickly. All God got to do is say the word. It's, it's done, and, and that's what's going to happen. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. It's done what? It's the time of the Gentiles. It's the time that the dead is getting ready to be raised. We right here at the mark. So it's something like we've been racing the race and now you see the finish line. How long is it going to take for the racers to get to the finish line? That's where we at. And there was voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth. So the biggest earthquake that ever happened in the history of the earth is getting ready to happen. So mighty an earthquake and so great and the great city was divided into three parts and the cities and the nations fell and great Babylon came in remembrance before God. So God said he's going to tear it down and not one wall is going to be standing and no mountains is going to be standing when his foot is going to touch the Mount of Olives that is going to go north and south. It's going to be a pole shift. To give unto her a cup of wine of the fierceness of his wrath. So America is finna pay and pay hard. Every island fled away. All around the ring of fire. All these islands. You know. California. All of them. And, and I'm in California. But I don't think I'm going to be a part of that. And the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hell from heaven. So if you look in Ezekiel 38. 22. You're going to see that God said in this time he's going to rain down hailstones, brimstone, and fire from, from heaven. And it's going to be uh, plagues, pestilence. And every stone about the weight of a talent. And they, they considering these stones is coming down to be 70 pounds. And they're going to be raining down hard. They're going to pound to powder like someone said. Everything in its uh, midst. And it's going to rain down hard on this earth. And men blaspheme God because of the, the plagues and and the and of the hell. For the plagues there was exceedingly great. So it's gonna be the worst day ever, the day of the Lord cometh, and we are right there and we looking at it. This is how close you are to to meeting your maker while people playing around and I keep trying to say, you I, I read it yesterday. If you watched my video yesterday, it's gonna say that basically God is gonna test your sin by fire if you have sin within you the fire is going to burn you the meteorites is going to pierce you and burn your ass it's going to burn all that sin out of your ass and some people all the people of the war when that war start uh they're going to sink down into the earth with their weapons says god with their weapons of war they're going to sink right down into hell and pharaoh and all of the people that came before is going to be down in hell waiting for their asses and this is how serious everything is. You're at the end. You shouldn't be gay. You shouldn't be carnal. You shouldn't be slutty. You shouldn't be stealing. You shouldn't be raping. You shouldn't be a molester. You shouldn't be lying. You shouldn't be arrogant. God hates arrogancy. All this high self-esteem ain't nothing but arrogancy. You should be humble. And you should desist from sinning. Period. This is Raptor News. And I'm warning y'all, man. This is where we at. We at the end. Peace.